Oh my God, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, back again with another Pokemon Go news update video. Yes, at the tail end of this video, I'm gonna have all my, my, my catches and stuff from Pokemon Go Community Day because that was yesterday. But today, we woke up with the news that we got Quest and Mew coming to Pokemon Go. Now today is March 26th, 2018, and as you can tell by how I'm speaking and my voice, I'm I'm excited i'm excited i'm excited because as you can see by the art of this video mew is coming to pokemon go officially announced by niantic let's jump into pokemon go live.com the official blog post for niantic and check this out as you can see it says trainers it's time to conduct important pokemon research so just as like we found out in the data mine mew was coming to the game and quest were coming to the game and as you can see they have art that shows mew oh my god it's so beautiful mew so let's jump straight into it. it says trainers a series of mysterious happenings is occurring all over the world and professor willow is seeking trainers to help him find out if this has any connection to the mythical pokemon meal it says these research tasks will become available to trainers around the world later this week so we're gonna be potentially get our hands on Mew later this week which is so good but also we're gonna be introduced into the quest system later this week as well which i'm just so excited for hit that subscribe button ring the bell if you want to be notified on exactly when it goes live because i will be doing a video on when it goes live to let you guys know it says there are two different types of research that you can contribute to one is field research and the second one is special research it says gather field research tasks by spinning nearby pokestops which gives you objectives that include discovering and catching certain pokemon or engaging with battles among other things so special research may be requested by professor willow himself and will take you on a journey to make important discoveries now i think this is kind of cool because they kind of have a split on different types of quests one is going to be you know spinning pokestops or battling pokemon at gyms and the other ones are unspecified they say that professor willow himself will give you a quest and to make important discoveries i think it's going to be stuff like filling out a pokemon entry in your pokedex or you know going out and looking for a certain pokemon that specific time day or window that they give you i don't know but i, I i'm excited about this i'm hugely excited about this because again this gives goals this gives different reasons to to interact with the game a different way to interact with the game that again a lot of pokemon go players feel like they they're they don't don't have that they don't have a you know again a daily connection to jump in besides the grind to level 40 or to complete your pokedex it says both types of research offer great rewards including a variety of useful items and even encounters with certain pokemon that is dope it says you can complete as many research tasks as you want every day whoa there's no limit there's no limit on how much tasks that you can complete I guess it's do at your own leisure. It says leading to a full day of adventures. These tasks also have different levels of difficulty. So more challenging a research task is the greater reward waiting for you. That is dope, that's dope, that's dope. That means, again, if it's harder to do, that means we get a bigger reward for it. Probably Mew, probably Mew is gonna be locked behind the hardest task that they could probably think of. It says, you can earn one stamp per day by completing at least one field research task. When you obtain several stamps, you can achieve a researcher's breakthrough to receive even greater rewards. You may even have an encounter with a legendary Pokemon. So again, this is probably how we're gonna encounter Mew. It's gonna say that you, it says you get one stamp per day by completing at least one field research task. We're probably gonna have to do that over a several number of days in order to get this research breakthrough in order to have this encounter with a quote unquote legendary Pokemon, even though it's a mythical Pokemon. But I think they are referring to Mew. Maybe, maybe not. They're probably referring to a, you know, Articuno or Zapdos, who knows? But I think this is pretty cool. Now it also says research tasks will provide interesting challenges that would help you to get better at discovering, battling, and catching Pokemon. It says we are excited to see you contribute to the exciting field of Pokemon research and can't wait to hear about the adventures you have along the way. 
let's get moving and then it goes into a couple of screenshots which i am scared to see to see exactly what they show they show him looking at a couple of spawns there's nothing really that you can see here there is a what i would like to say a new icon on the screen is that a new icon they're trying to subtly hint at this like telescope icon i'm not that's not what is that what is that though what is that though is that the quest icon yo what is that what is that pokemon what is that niantic yo what is that it says map view what is that what is that what is that what is that okay this one it says research progress oh oh we got the okay so it's gonna be a week it looks like it's gonna take a week to get a box full of goodies and you can see it has special yeah yeah let me, let me put this as you can see we have a week worth of stamps that we have to put in i'm thinking these are the stamps and as you can see we have field research and this is going to be the quest that you have to do and then there's going to be the special research it says catch a dragon type pokemon then we got win three gym battles and win three raids again stuff that we normally would do anyway but i i don't want to say this is too hard i think winning three raids might be a, a something that's kind of difficult for entry level players especially players who aren't that interested in the gym battle system and probably only do it to catch legendaries kind of like me but i i don't know i i don't know this one is I'm uh, hoping Mew isn't locked behind that, but I could be wrong. It doesn't matter. I'm probably going to work my way through it in order to get myself a Mew because I really want Mew. So that's field research. Yeah, that is 100% field research. Let's keep going. Ooh, we got a box. What is in this box? It says collect stamps to unlock researchers breakthrough from Professor Willow. Next, breakthrough in six more stamps. Now, this one comes with Stardust, mystery items, and Pokemon appears a random pokemon is gonna appear out of this box what that's crazy they're gonna mail us the meal like we're not gonna have to actually go out to a pacific gym and catch it that's crazy and the potential potentially we could probably see you know even other pokemon other legendaries other other random pokemon even shiny pokemon oh my god this opens up the possibilities for endless stuff that they could just throw out in the wild and just give it to us on a regular seven day stamp streak i think this is a beautiful idea for pokemon go i think this is so dope i'm so excited for quest now that's just a research breakthrough now they also got the special breakthrough with uh, it says discover it is right there right there it says a mythical discovery this is going to be how we're going to get mew we're going to have to do a, a stuff with the special breakthrough which oh my god it's the same thing with the stamps we have the seven day streak with the stamps and this is spin five poke stops and then we also get experience from this I, oh that's kind of cool was that up here did i just kind of breeze over no up here we did we got other rewards i actually just skimmed through it i didn't even notice but you get two rare candies you get three um what is that hyper potions and then you get one ex ray pad that's kind of crazy that's kind of cool that's very very dope that they you know again incentivizing the little steps as well so this is kind of cool we get xp for each of these it says spend five focus stops catch 10 pokemon transfer five pokemon <laughs> that's cool that's cool that's cool so and then we also get the seven day streak for stamps for the research and now again i think this is going to tie into me because it says a mythical discovery right there it says one of eight things so and also to note it says rewards like if it would show it if you scroll down but they don't show us the rewards for this which is it's kind of telling and they're going to keep that on the wraps as long as they can now it says um trainer nia which is probably niantic um trainer's name or the person that's doing this it says how are you it's been a while hasn't it it says you become quite the trainer now there's professor willow the guy that introduced you you into pokemon go i believe he's the one that gives you your starter pokemon um even though you have to catch it in the wild or whatever the case may be but oh my god we got quest we got mew in the game 
and that's it that's it pokemon go team now i just went through the images and stuff like that with you guys now i'm gonna end this video out on my experience that i had yesterday on pokemon go community day now i'm gonna show those footage right here now i had a great day with pokemon go community day i'm trying to i'm trying to get through this as 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 excited as possible. I'm, I'm excited i'm excited for quest I'm, I'm, I want to jump up. I want to get this video out, but I want to also let you guys know what happened on Pokemon Go Community Day. Yesterday, I went out. I caught me tons of Bulbasaur. One of them happened to be shiny, which is on. I wanted at least three so I can have a, a quote unquote my shiny living decks, which I'm working to, which us right now is only two Pokemon. But I would have hoped that I would have caught more, but I ended up only catching one Bulbasaur. I've seen tons of stuff online with people of pages of pages of shiny Bulbasaur. I unfortunately was only able to catch one, which I am grateful for. I evolved it into the Ivysaur for it can have that move or whatever, Frenzy Pant or whatever the case may be. I don't even think my the one I got was a good IV Ivysaur. I still have to feed it candies to level it up, and I'll probably do that for this video so you guys can see. But yeah. I got a shiny Ivysaur in Pokemon Go. Let me know if you got one as well in the comment section below. But guys, guys, what are y'all thoughts on Quest? Do you th are you hyped for this as I am? I am on level 10 right now thinking about Quest. Like, oh my God, I'm through the roof on ideas. I just can't wait for this to pop. And uh, oh my God, uh, so many things are going through my head right now. So many things. And uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let me know your thoughts on quests in the comment section below. Let me know if you like this idea for a quest for a Pokemon or a mythical Pokemon like you. What do you want from Pokemon Go quest? Let, let's have that discussion in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Go News Update videos. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton. Ring the bell because for some reason YouTube announced that if you don't ring the bell, you won't get the video. So it ring the bell if you want this video to pop up on your notifications notifications and to pop up on your timeline and stuff like that while you're searching youtube peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon go news update video and oh my god yes yes we got we got you we got you <laughs>